To solve this equation, we will first multiply the negative 2 into the parentheses, right? distribute that, and we will have 19x and negative 2 times 4x, that's negative 8x, and negative 2 times negative 5, that's going to be plus 10. And the right-hand side stays the same, x plus 9, like this. And now we see on the left-hand side, we have the 19x minus 8x. We can combine like terms, so this is 11x and we have plus 10, and that's equal to x plus 9. Okay, now let's move the x to the left-hand side and move that number to the right-hand side. To get rid of this x, we will minus x on both sides. This and that will cancel. To get rid of the 10, we minus the 10 on both sides, so that this and that will cancel. And we have this. 11x minus 1x, that's going to be 10x. And that's equal to 9 minus 10. It's going to be negative 1. Finally, 10 times x. To get rid of the 10, we will have to divide it by 10 on both sides. So the answer is x equals negative 10, I mean negative 1 over 10. <laughs> All right, x is equal to negative 1 over 10. That's it. To solve this absolute value equation, we will have to first isolate the absolute value. In that case, we will have to get rid of the positive 22. To do so, we will minus 22 on both sides. So that this and that will be cancelled. And then we see we have absolute value of 3x plus 12, and that's equal to 9 minus 22. That will be negative 13. And now let me ask you, what should we do next? Yes. No solution, and then you are done. Why? Again, when you have an absolute value being isolated, if the right-hand side is negative, it has no solution. So let me just remind you guys, whatever you have inside of the absolute value, if the outside right here, the output right here, is a negative number, this right here has no solution. You don't even have to continue. If you do continue, you actually get some fake answers, so don't do that at all, right? So. This right here is it. To solve this inequality, of course, we'll first distribute the number in front of the parentheses. So let's go ahead and do this and that, and we'll work on that as well. But for the first part, we have x. And 4 times negative 3x, that's minus 12x. 4 times positive 5, that's plus 20. And we'll maintain the greater than symbol. And for this one, distribute the 4 right here and here. 4 times 4x is 16x, 4 times 3 is plus 12, and lastly, we have the plus 6. Now, pay attention to both sides. Right here, we can have the x minus 12x being combined. This is like 1. 1 minus 12 is negative 11, and this is the x term, so you keep it, and you still write down the plus 20, and you bring down the greater than symbol, and for this side, we have the 12 plus 6. Of course, that's 18. So let me just write down the 16x here, and this and that. Again, we have 18 right here. Okay, then let's move the x to the other side and move the number here. So let me minus 16x, so that they cancel. Minus 16x. In the meantime, let's go ahead and minus 20, so that this and that will cancel. And minus 20 right here as well. Now, here, negative 11x minus 16x, we will end up with negative 27x. And we're just subtracting, yeah? So do not change the inequality symbol. Just write it down. You keep it as how it is. Then on the right-hand side, 18 minus 20 is negative 2. Finally, we have negative 27x. So we will have to divide it by negative 27. We have to divide this on both sides. When you divide it by a negative number in an inequality situation, be sure you switch the inequality. Again, because we divide it by a negative 27, so this becomes a less than symbol. And work this out, but we cannot reduce a fraction. The only thing we can do is negative divided by negative is positive, and we have just 2 over 7, I mean 2 over 27 right here. That's it, right? Final answer, x is less than 2 over 27. That's it. Alright, to solve this inequality, of course, first, we should distribute the number 
in front of the parentheses like this. And of course, we'll also do that right here. OK, so here we have 20, and that's less than or equal to 8 times x is just 8x. 8, 8 times 3 is plus 24. And then, of course, we continue. But here, be careful, though. This is negative 5. Negative 5 times 2x, we get negative 10x. And then, negative 5 times positive 1, we get negative 5, right? So just be careful you have to distribute the negative as well. Now, if you look at the right-hand side, this and that can be combined. Likewise, 24 minus 5 can also be combined. So we'll do that. So the left-hand side is 20 still, and then we have less than or equal to 8x minus 10x, that's negative 2x, and 24 minus 5 is plus 19, just like this. Now, it depends on how you want to do it. I will personally you know, prefer to have the x on the left-hand side. It's easier this way, because sometimes you may have to end up graphing the inequality. Therefore, let me actually just add the 2x on both sides. I want to bring the x to the other side. So this is you add the 2x on both sides. So that this and that will be cancelled. And I will minus 20 on both sides. right? But if you want to just keep it like here, that's fine too. Anyway, finally we'll see this is 2x. That's less than or equal to 19 minus 20 is negative 1. And of course, lastly, we can just divide both sides by 2. And when we divide both sides by a positive 2, we do not have to switch the inequality symbol. We write it as x is less than or equal to, and we have negative 1 half. And this is it. Right? This is it. OK, to solve this absolute value equation, we will always have to isolate the absolute value first. Therefore, here we have the minus 29. What shall we do? Yes, we are going to add 29 on both sides. And be really careful. Do not just say the right-hand side is negative 10 and say no solution. That's not the case. You really have to isolate the absolute value first before you can make any decision. Have a look. After we add 29 on both sides, this and that cancel. And then we end up with absolute value of 2x minus 7. And that's equal to negative 10 plus 29 is positive 90. So in this case, we do have to continue. And the way to do so is, first, you take out the absolute value and you just solve 2x minus 7 equals positive 19. And the other equation that we have to do is, you write down the same thing, 2x minus 7, but you have to have the negative 19. So you have two equations to work with. Be really careful not to forget this right here, right? Okay, for this, add 7 on both sides, they cancel, and we will have the 2x equals 19 plus 7 is 26, and then divide both sides by 2, and we get 13 for that. First answer, very good. For the other one, we add 7 on both sides, they cancel, and we get 2x equals, do this, we get negative 12, and then divide both sides by 2, and we end up with x equals negative 6, just like that. And both of them are the answers. Be sure you include both of them. That's it. To solve this equation, of course, we have to distribute the numbers in front of the parentheses first, right? So here we go. Negative 1 half times 2. You just take half of 2, which is 1. But this is going to be negative, right? So negative 1. And don't forget it's the x term, so we have negative x. Negative 1 half times 2x, we get negative x. And then negative 1 half times 4. Half of 4 is 2. And negative times positive is negative, so we have negative 2, like this. And we can continue. Here we have 9x. Then here we distribute it again. This times this, this times that. Negative 4 times 2x, that will be negative 8x. And then negative 4 times 3, that's negative 12. So don't forget about the negative. Then, as we can see, here we have the 9x minus 8x. We can combine like terms. So I will write this down again. Negative x minus 2 equals 9x minus 8x. That will be just x. And we will have minus 12 right here. Then. I will bring the x to the left-hand side by minus the x on both sides. 
In the meantime, let's go ahead and add a 2 on both sides so that they can be cancelled as well. Then we'll see negative x minus x, that's negative 2x, and that's equal to negative 10 plus 2. I mean negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10, I said the answer earlier. <laughs> Finally, of course, divide both sides by negative 2. And we are done, right? Of course, we have to write, work this out and all that. Negative 10 divided by negative 2, we get positive 5, and then we're done. Just like that.